Hi, and welcome to another edition of the Nietzsche Roscoe Sports Show for this Thirsty Thursday, February 16th, 2023, from the Live State, in my black trolley for the DJ Roscoe Sports Show. If it's Thursday this week, it was the Mamba Sports Talk right here on the DJ Roscoe Sports Show. Very happy with you once again, and it's been really warm. It feels like springtime, and you know what's excited? Baseball is back. Pitchers and catchers have reported to Florida and Arizona. The Yankees are in Tampa. The Mets are in Port St. Lucie. Uh, the Phillies are in Clearwater, Florida. And spring training games start next week. The Yankees' first spring training game is just nine days away on Saturday, January tw- tw- not Saturday, January twenty fifth. On February, Saturday, February twenty fifth, it's going to be exclusively on the Yes app that you can get for free and download. And the next day will be on the Yes Network on uh, Sunday, February twenty sixth, uh, one o'clock. So Yankees baseball is back. And uh, <laughs> pitchers and catchers, as I said, are reported. Some training games are started. Opening day is going to be Thursday, March 30th, just six weeks from today, just 42 days. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's going to be nice warm weather, and we're going to have opening day on Thursday, March 30th. Hopefully it's not freezing cold. Hopefully we can keep some of this warm weather for the end of March. Rail riders start early this year as well. They'll start six weeks from tomorrow. On Friday, March 31st, will be the Rail Riders opening day. So check that out. Rail Riders Baseball Action Electric City and Scranton will be here for the AAA Yankees. And you'll probably get to see Anthony Volpe, maybe Jason Dominguez, and a lot of the AAA superstars. And their new manager is Shelly Duncan, who is a fan favorite for the Rail Riders when he was on the Scranton Yankees. And now and then for the New York Yankees, hit some big home run bobs. And, uh, and you know, did play a ton of the major leagues. <laughs> but he would show off those big biceps like Mark McGuire from back in the day. And he would just crush those home runs. So Shelly Duncan, a fan favorite, is taking over for Doug Davis, who, the former Blue, uh, the former Rail Rider manager, Bloomsburg native. He thinks he'll be the Texas Rangers AAA manager. So Rail Rider Baseball is going to be back. Yankee Baseball is back. World Baseball Classic starts March 8th. And it goes through the 21st. Team USA is the reigning champs from six years ago, 2017. The, the Dominican Republic side is st- stacked. Puerto Rico is stacked. Venezuela is stacked. USA has a stacked team. Even though they lost Nasty Nest and Esther Cortez has a hamstring issue. Hopefully he'll be ready for opening day for the beginning of the season for the Yankees, but he will not pitch. And they had a sweet patriarch of red, white, and blue uh, baseball glove he was going to wear at it. Uh, but we're going to have stars. Mike Trout's going to be there. <laughs> Bryce Harper Richard was going to be there. He won't be with Paul Goldschmidt, uh, Nolan Arenado, the two St. Louis Cardinal MVP studs are going to be there. Uh, lots of big time players. So Team USA is going to be stacked with a great lineup. Uh, I think Mookie Betts, Tim Anderson. So we can't wait for World Baseball Classic spring training games. Open a day. I can feel it in my bones. Warm weather. Basketball has uh, the NBA All-Star game last night. They finished it off. The Knicks got a nice win last night. Uh, so congrats to the Knicks. Played pretty well going into the All-Star break with their new acquisition, Josh Hart, to team up with Jalen Brunson, the four Villanova teammates, now playing in New York. <laughs> the Brooklyn Nets <coughs> not only got rid of Kyrie Irving, who was a headache, they also got rid of uh, Kevin Durant. Kyrie Irving's now in the Dallas Mavericks to team up with Luka. Who knows if there'll be enough basketballs to go around in that gym for them to coexist properly. Uh Kevin Durant's on the Phoenix Suns, so they might be the team to beat now. So you have uh, him with Devin Booker and uh, all these other studs, Chris uh, Chris Paul. They, there were some rumors that they might try to get Carmelo Anthony in the mix, who hasn't played this year. Maybe he can get his first NBA championship ring after winning that national championship for Syracuse 20 years ago. It's the 20th anniversary of that. So Kevin Durant's been training the Suns, but the Nets played pretty well since they got rid of uh, their two superstars, and it didn't work out when they had James Harden and Durant and uh, Kyrie Irving, but the Nets beat the Miami Heat last night. So Nets got a nice win. <coughs> the Knicks beat the Hawks last night. Sixers uh, almost blew a massive like 28-point lead to the Houston Rockets, but the Sixers won at home. So, uh, All-Star break. They're going to be in Utah, uh, in Salt Lake City. LeBron James will be in his 19th All-Star game, who just set the all-time score record in NBA basketball history. Pass the cream out Jabbar. So, <coughs> <laughs> what a great, legendary, iconic moment. And his 20th year in the league, still playing great. But the Lakers have made a lot of trades. Got D'Angelo Russell, got a lot of big players. Need Anthony Davis to stay healthy, LeBron to stay healthy. See if they can make a run and uh, sneak into the playoffs and maybe do some damage in there. So NBA All-Star weekend, the slam dunk, the three-point contest, the NBA All-Star game. This weekend at Utah, the Daytona 500 for NASCAR. The Super Bowl of racing starts off this season. It is this Sunday, February 19th. <laughs> <laughs> Hockey just had their All Star game. Hockey just had their All Star game uh, in Florida recently, and they had a lot of fun games in the last few weeks. The Rangers got a superstar player, Tarasenko from the St. Louis Blues. Their trade deadline will be here before you know it. 
Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, baby Penguins, they will, they played last night. They won an overtime over their rival, the Hershey Bears, the Bears. Uh, and they will play this Sunday at 3.05, the first afternoon game, sponsored by Knobles. At 3.05, it's going to be Tux's birthday. So, Champ, the Rail Riders mascot, the Marywood mascot, the Cougar mascot from Mr. Corner, all the local mascots will be there to celebrate Champ's, uh, uh, to celebrate Tux's birthday. Uh, we're going to go to that after I go cover the Penn State Scranton opening day game at 11 a.m. at Shout Stadium for baseball so they're gonna start college baseball hallelujah and then right after that after I cover some baseball i'm gonna go uh go meet up with the family and go watch the baby penguins hockey for tux's birthday 305 they play the bridgeport uh, uh, sound tigers i think the new york Islanders minor league team so that will be sunday uh friday we have the uh, tomorrow and technically today but we're gonna watch it tomorrow with the kids we're gonna see the brand new ant-man movie with paul rudd very excited about that Kang the conqueror uh jonathan majors is also gonna be the new creed movie the new rocky spinoff movie michael b jordan in two weeks michael b jordan's directorial debut with all those imax cameras cool fight scenes can't wait to see creed 3 can't wait to see the ant-man movie so we're gonna see the new ant-man movie coming out tomorrow so we'll see that on friday and we'll just have a great weekend we have basketball alumni game for Penn State Scranton on uh, Saturday morning at 10.30. And then 1 and 3 o'clock, the women and men's basketball teams uh, will take on Penn State Wilkesbury, their local rival. So, big, busy week in sports. Basketball All-Star Game, Daytona 500, hockey games, baby penguins, Tux's birthday, baseball's back, spring training, pitchers and catchers. And uh, and now, with a, for a quick Super Bowl recap, congrats to the Kansas City Chiefs. They came back from down 24 to 14 at halftime. Rihanna gave a pretty solid halftime performance. Wasn't out of this world, but she was still very high up on these platforms, wore the cool red outfit. And then, <laughs> little did we know, <coughs> I didn't know when I watched the show that they said she had the big reveal that she's pregnant. I think she just had a baby last year, I think eight months ago. So she not only just had a, a, has a young child at home, she now is pregnant and still delivered a pretty good halftime performance with uh, all her hit songs, Umbrella, uh, all the uh, all her uh, her number one hits, and uh, she's pregnant. So the running joke was her baby inside her belly has gone to the Super Bowl before the Detroit Lions have ever made to the Super Bowl, or the Cleveland Browns, or a Jacksonville Jaguars, or the Carolina, or well, Carolina Panthers have made the Super Bowl. Any team that has not made the Super Bowl, her baby has made it before the, any of those teams have. So, uh, but congrats to Rihanna. She had a solid halftime performance, uh, and she's congrats on the, uh, the big, exciting baby news. <laughs> for baby number two for her <coughs> with her and asap rocky uh chris stapleton gave a great uh national anthem he baby faced did well but uh, chris stapleton brought the house down brought nick seriani the eagles uh, coach to tears what a what a performance big chris stapleton fan looks like a crazy hippie caveman with a crazy beard and thick long and crazy long hair but what a talent he is i was a great songwriter before he became a big time solo artist and now <laughs> just doing a great job <coughs> <laughs> the commercials were pretty funny. The Ben Affleck J Lo Dunkin' Donuts commercial was funny. Uh, Melissa McCarthy had a funny one with her husband. Uh, there was there was some, there was some really funny. One. There were some really, of course, stupid, silly commercials. There were some cute E Trade baby commercials. So overall, some very funny commercials. Uh, some good tra trailers for the new Fast and Furious movie. That movie Air about the first uh, Michael Jordan Air Jordan sneakers. That's got Matt Damon and Ben Affleck directed it and starred in it. That looks really good. So some good movie trailers, good funny commercials, good halftime show. And the Super Bowl was excited. Jalen Hurts played out of his mind. The Eagles scored the most points for any team to lose a Super Bowl. He had the best performance for Greg ever to lose a Super Bowl. Uh, you know, he threw for over 300 yards, ran for three touchdowns, which is the most rushing touchdowns for a quarterback in Super Bowl history. Uh, only mistake he made was in the second quarter when he had that fumble where they were driving, maybe could score again. It was returned for a touchdown, tied up at 14, but he came right back and they scored 10 more points. We're up by 10, 24 to 14 going into halftime. But then in the second half, the defense had no answer for the Eagles. Uh, for the, the, the Eagles defense had no answer for the Chiefs, so vaunted offense. Pat Mahomes with a bunch of guys, not Tyreek Hill, any superstar receivers. Juju Smith Schuster really stepped up, won his first Super Bowl. Congrats. My wife and uh, daughter loved him on the Steelers. I was a big fan of the Steelers, got the Super Bowl. Uh, win had a big second half, so uh, <coughs> with 
<laughs> with a bunch of like secondary receivers because a lot of times Travis Kelsey have to score that opening touchdown in the Kelsey Bowl between J- Jason and Travis Kelsey, which is exciting that the first time brother versus brother in the Super Bowl, he was being double teamed, but a lot of receivers got open. Juju Smith Schuster Juju stepped up. Pat Mahomes, you know, they called the Jordan flu game. Pat Mahomes, how serious it was, who knows? But he re injured that ankle right before half. They're like, uh oh, you think he's done? Chad Henney is a good backup. He just retired and going out as the Super Bowl champion for the second time as Pat Mahomes backup. But Pat Mahomes, the super sorry he is, he toughened it out, ran the ball when he needed to. They scored on all four drives uh, in the second half. They could be stopped, scored uh, three touchdowns, kicked the field goal late. And then, of course, that big uh, holding call, which I did like. It was technically holding, <laughs> but as I've, uh, I've heard <laughs> the, the expression, basically, it's like in a uh, 30, if in a 55 uh, mile per hour speed limit, you got pulled over for going 60. Usually you have a 5 to 10 mile per hour grace period uh, going over the speed limit. Uh, James Bradbury had Juju Smith Schuster buy the jersey, quickly let go, and it was an uncatchable pass. <laughs> but in the end, <laughs> the refs called it. <laughs> it technically probably was the right call. Bradbury uh, said that, you know, he did hold him. But I think there you don't call it because it did if uh, to me it did affect the play. It was an uncatchable pass, and then basically by, with the first down, the Chiefs were able to run out the clock, and uh, they did. They, the Eagles were going to let them score touchdown. They didn't do that, and they ran out the clock, kicked the last second chip shot field goal. If the kicker missed it earlier, their kicker made it this time, and then the Eagles got the ball back in eight seconds, and uh, you know he flung it in mid air, but there was nothing really the great Jalen Hurts could do. So a great Super Bowl, but what a kind of a whipper it had to go out because I would have loved to see Jalen Hurts have a chance to match, to kick a field goal uh, to get them in field goal range late to get into overtime, or possibly even score a winning touchdown at the last second. I think if he had a little extra time, uh, if they didn't call that penalty on third down, they kicked the field goal to the Chiefs, the Eagles might have been able to match, but it didn't happen. <coughs> Chiefs offense was amazing in the second half. Pat Mahomes was amazing in the second half. Juju Smith-Schuster played well. He annoyed uh, the Eagles by kind of teasing them on Valentine's Day on Tuesday, saying the most important moments, uh, you always like to hold me with James Bradbury. And then A.J. Brown came to his teammates' defense and called him TikTok boy, which is a little bit of a feud. We'll see where that goes. And Juju Smith-Schuster does a lot of TikToks. Did have the greatest season. A lot of times it was like a secondary option. was begged up. But when he mattered most of the Super Bowl, he stepped up and played well in the second half. But in the end, Chiefs win. Congrats. Pat Mahomes now has two uh, league uh, MVPs, won well, the MVP this year, two Super Bowl MVPs, been to the Super Bowl three times, been to the AFC Championship all five to- years. He's been the star, correct, six years overall in the NFL, five years the star. First year he sat on the bench for Alex Smith. Uh, all home games, the AFC Championship game, won three of them. Only uh, Super Bowl blemish when they got blown out by the, uh, Brady and the Buccaneers with that defense where he was running for his life. The, you know, the de- pass rush was too intense. His so offensive line could protect him. But beat the 49ers in Super Bowl three years ago when my little son LJ was a baby. And now three years later, beat the Eagles when they were slight underdogs. Came back both Super Bowls. He was down by 10 points in the second half. And he came back, won the Super Bowl as Super Bowl MVP. Had the Super Bowl parade yesterday. Travis Kelsey was his mom, Donna Kelsey. Mama Kelsey cheered on her two sons in the Super Bowl. What an exciting time. And uh, Pat Mahomes, who just uh, became a dad again. I think his second uh, daughter was born recently. Congrats. What a great fa- uh, family he has. What a great career he has. He's probably a Hall of Famer right now if he stopped playing, but he's only 27 years old and hopefully has another decade or more to go. Uh, but the, the Pat Mahomes, I don't know if he's ever, he's probably never going to get reached Tom Brady's height to seven Super Bowls. Brady just retired. But uh, Brady for, uh, 80 for Brady looks like a fun movie, by the way. But <coughs> <coughs> what an amazing uh, run so far, these first five years of the start for Pat Mahomes. Super Bowl MVP, played on an injured ankle. It's going to be a legendary uh, game that he came back and played the injured, and they won the game. So the Eagles had a great season, but in the end, they fell short. Jalen Hurts definitely proved that he is the star quarterback, uh, hopefully for years to come, and they resigned him soon. Uh, definitely Pat Mahomes again. Uh, he was a heck of a quarterback and, and gave P- uh, Jalen Hurts his due. Played out of his mind besides the one mistake with the fumble return for a touchdown, but in a close game, it was costly. But they still came back and were up by 10 points. So in the end, uh, the Eagles defense, uh, who their defense coordinator again and just uh, became the Arizona Cardinals head coach. Their offense coordinator just left to be the yeah, it was Colts head coach. Of course, last week we forgot to mention Sean Payton is back in the NFL. He was doing the, uh, the Super Bowl on Fox. He is going to be... Uh, go into the Denver Broncos. They trade for him, so he'll be the Broncos head coach. See if he can g- get uh, Russell Wilson back to his old superstar form or if he's lost it. But Sean Payton will be back in the NFL. But <laughs> overall, heck of a Super Bowl. Just kind of a letdown that at the last second. We wanted to see, I think all of America wanted to see, besides Chief fans, we were excited that they were able to run out the clock. We wanted to see if Jalen Hurts would have had one last miracle in him and be able to come back for the Eagles, at least get them in overtime, maybe with the game. So I think they could have, but in the end, both quarterbacks played great. 
Uh, and But Pat Mahomes in the Chiefs offense was just unstoppable in the second half. And what a career he's had. And I think he's going to have such an amazing career before it's all said and done. It's already amazing that this early in his career. So congrats to the Chiefs. Win in 2-ball 57, uh, 38-35, coming back from 10 points down in the second half. Over the Eagles, Eagles had a great season, but in the end, the Chiefs were just a little bit better. Uh, and now the NFL draft will be in Kansas City in April. The XFL starts this week on Saturday and Sunday. The Rocks do uh, XFL, got it from Big Suit Band, got shut down the second time around with the pandemic. Now, hopefully, the XFL will be back. The USFL will be back in April, but hopefully, the XFL will be back better than ever. We'll be excited. I would love to see if Tim Tebow or Johnny Benzel or Colin Kaepernick would play it, but hopefully, some studs in the future play the XFL will be on big time TV. I think it'll be on ABC, ESPN, Fox, and that kicks off uh, this Saturday and Sunday. So, even though it's said the NFL's gone, there'll at least be XFLs to watch, and then the NFL draft and free agency. We'll see if Aaron Rodgers can go to my Jets, maybe, and the 12 year playoff draft. Hallelujah, hallelujah. After he goes to his darkness, this retreat he says he needs to be away from tvs electronics for four days and we'll see after he gets out of the cave what he decides to do i think he will definitely come back but i think the packers are like they're willing to trade him love for him to come to my jets their cars can be a free agent we'll see where he ends up after he refused to get traded uh from the raiders the raiders cut him before he had a guarantee him 40 million dollars <coughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot to mention last week, D'Amico Ryans, former Houston Texan and Philadelphia Eagle player. He's back on the Texans 49ers defensive coordinator as their new head coach. Hopefully they'll be able to draft the top uh, quarterback because they've been with the Colts to improve their team pretty quickly in the NFL draft. So before you know, free agency, NFL draft, XFL, football will be, uh, be back before you know it. Uh, but congrats to the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl. And uh, next year's Super Bowl will be in Vegas. Super Bowl 58 will be in Las Vegas. The year after will be in New Orleans. So... Football uh, was exciting. Super Bowl, great stuff with halftime, the commercials, XFL back. Baseball is almost back. P pitchers and catchers p uh, are, pl are right now in Florida, Arizona. It makes me feel warm uh, even in the winter when it's cold. Uh, spring training games will start uh, next week. And before you know it, next month, real games that count for baseball. And uh, as I said, basketball, hockey, uh, all-star breaks that happened. Uh, basketball this weekend, all-star break. Uh, outdoor hockey game on Saturday uh, with the Washington Capitals. So a lot of great stuff. Daytona 500 this weekend tiger woods coming back to golf and as i said the new uh, a lot of great shows on netflix and movies uh but, but you definitely gotta check out before creed uh, three comes out which i'm excited for march 3rd uh and the cocaine bear next week which looks like a crazy true story with ray leona's last movie elizabeth banks directed that uh but you have a, a, an awesome looking uh ant-man movie so hopefully everyone enjoys that comes out today but we'll go see it with the kids tomorrow so looking forward to paul Rudd's new ant-man movie and jonathan majors of the new crazy bad guy uh looks like he does a great job at that as keg in the new ant-man movie so before we wrap it up we're gonna quickly sing, song, uh, quickly sing a quick uh quick song my beautiful wife abby my, my forever valentine and my beautiful daughter Lorelai, and my handsome son lj i'm gonna sing from zach brown our wedding song you make loving you easy you make loving you all i want to do every little smile and every single touch little george Costanza reminds me just how much it all makes loving you easy i'll sing it again please don't easy thank you zach brown love you Abbott. love you Lorelai. love you Aldrin. and keep it locked to the dj russell sports show your home for all your favorite sports and entertainment talk right here on the dj russell sports show have a great president's day weekend take care excited for baseball to be back great super bowl excited for the xfl to return basketball all-star game daytona 500 hockey movies ant-man all that stuff and so much more and uh, keep it locked right here. DJ Rose, and Tux's birthday this weekend. Keep it locked. DJ Rose from Sports Show. Your home for all your favorite sports and entertainment talk. Can't wait to be with you again each and every week. Bye-bye. Have a great weekend.